Oh my god, one up breath. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Whatever This Is. My god, I'm first. <laughs> I do beg your pardon. Hey, oh, no, there's mold on you. Oh, I'll just pick it off. I just want to say a very, very um, heartfelt thank you, firstly, to the new patrons that have just joined Darlene Parker, Busy B, and Stuart Adventure. That is how it's spelled, spelled which is, believe me. You'll catch me now, I'm just in the kitchen. I'm just making some toast. I'm having honey on toast because I don't have any cake. And I fancy cake, so this is like the closest that I can get to bread and honey, which feels very biblical. And I've got a couple of jobs to do today, which I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna do the realism in videos from now on, I think. So, I'm going to fix my bathtub. It's not going to be a proper fix. It's going to be a bodge job fix. And uh, you could be like, Liz, if you're going to fix something, do it properly. Thing is, this bathtub's going to be removed at some point this year anyway. So I don't see any point in wasting money on a repair kit when I've got some stuff that'll do okay. And uh, I can save me pennies. I think uh, a repair kit is like, I don't know, like a, uh, like a fiberglass kit or a back kit that's around about like 15 quid. But I'm going out with my sister for her birthday this weekend. And I have been scrimping and bu um, not buying anything unnecessary, which is probably why my bread is like this. going to Birmingham so if I can save 14 pounds on uh, a repair kit well in Birmingham drinks wise that's um, five bottles of wine but um, everything's going well here at the moment I'm due like I mentioned um, to go to paint the Golden Hind if you don't know what the Golden Hind is, the Golden Hind was the ship that uh, Sir Francis Drake captained to travel around the world on behalf of uh, Queen Elizabeth I, Elizabeth Tudor. And it's fascinating. This is a replica as the original sunk, but this replica is like spot on for the original. So I'm going to be going to London, I'm going to be going to the museum and they um, share everything on what it was like to be a sailor in those times, what it would have been like to be under crew of uh, Mr. Francis. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm really, really scared at the same time because I'm going to be doing live painting. And what if I'm shit? That is the worry, isn't it? It is. Who oh well. Alrighty, so this is the problem area. There's a split down here. So, I'm not gonna pretend that my bathtub or my bathroom is beautiful. I'm not even gonna pretend that it's tidy. It's really not, but this is what I'm going to do. Um, well, you just look in the cupboards and you say, what have I bloody got in here? Have I got this? Yes, I do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to mix some resin. All right, all right, all right. Hopefully that will bridge the gap. I 
if it can fill potholes, I'm sure it can fill up this. Right. If anyone says I'm doing this wrong, um, I don't care that much. I'm just seeing what happens really. Can't be any worse, surely. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure that's going to run down the berth, which is fine. I don't mind that much. I'm not saying this is going to work. Hey, no, it's probably going to work. Will mask and tape make it better? Who fucking knows? Okay. I didn't say this was going to look pretty. This is what I'm doing as a mock five glass Let's see if this works just want that to work as some sort of bind like uh, papa mache that's what we're doing we are using papa mache out of resin and masking tape because we're poor and desperate It could, it could. Yes, I know I should have worn gloves, but you're not my real dad. And after that, do we put things away like a responsible adult? No. We are going to make a cup of tea. I feel like I'm always either making tea or coffee. But that's just the British way of life, isn't it? Not tea, obviously, but it's quarter past eight and I'm feeling very, very tired and I've still got loads of work to do, so I can't go to bed. Well, the bathtub, I think, is sorted. Well, who knows? Who knows? Um, so, c'est la vie. Is that a job ticked off the list? I don't think so, but I just really want like a nice shower area for that. What I'm going to be doing is this is going to be opened out to this and is going to be one massive bathroom eventually. Um, I'd love to get one of those cinder toilets. They're like these incinerator toilets, but they're like £2,000. Actually, I think it's double that. It's a very expensive poo to have. But, yeah, I do like my bathroom. It's just... I can't have a proper shower. Let's return, shall we, to make the coffee. So, it's winter. Night five...
not a you. It's winter in like five months. So I've got five months time to winterize the boat. I've got, I've just got to work my ass off, which is what I always say when I'm on here. I'm like, I've got to work hard. I've got to, you know, shake that tush. And I don't mean in terms of like OnlyFans. I'm not on OnlyFans. Too bloody awkward to go on OnlyFans. It, it, I mean, you should date me. Then you see how awkward I am. I think it's about dinner time now. And we're going to cook what I like to call uh, a peasant dish. So literally going to see what we've got left. And eat that. Well, well, well. Okay, we've got chicken breast, one mushroom, uh, oh, asparagus, all right. Um, half an onion, good, good, good. And, oh, half a spoon again, and some lettuce, brilliant. That's not exactly a peasant meal, is it? That's eating like an absolute king. But I never let food go to waste, so let's get this chopped up, eh? I don't know, but there might be a lot of onions. Oh, time for chicken. I understand some people wash their meat before, which is probably good, but um, I'm 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 a lazy bitch. Now, I wouldn't say I'm a good cook or anything. I just like to make things that I like. So I've got a stock cube, I'll whack it in. And my mum will try and call me again. Hi mum, you're right. Leela's just been invited for a sleepover. Right, so then I get some milk. Milk, you say? Well, yes, it's just watery cream, isn't it? Mmm, delicious. Elizabeth, you're insane. Don't be silly. Don't be a silly belly. Usually, a British person will always have milk in their house because no matter how povo you are, you've always got to make sure you've got a cup of tea. So I have um, survived um, bags of pasta making a sauce out of butter, milk and chicken stock and an onion. I, I lived on that through an entire summer from being really poor. What's changed Elizabeth? Nothing except I've got asparagus. I don't know if I've got asparagus, I don't know. This feels a bit obscene to eat this big. Should I cut it? That didn't work. 
gentlemen. I hope you're not wincing at home. Oh. Yeah, well, five second rule. That's fine. Go in. When I was younger, the best meal of the week was always a Sunday dinner because you were with your family and you all pitched in like roast potatoes, stuffing, someone making the mint sauce, setting the table, sitting down together, washing up together. I say washing up together, it was mostly the girls washing up. <laughs> Misogyny. But I love cooking. I do. It's more fun when it's with people. I take that back. It feels just as special doing it for yourself. I think sometimes when you live alone, you just like eat to sustain yourself. Like, yeah, it's delicious. Whack a bit of cheese on. Hmm. Yum, yum. But sometimes doing something that's a little bit... I know, it feels luxurious. I'm basing this meal on the fact that I've got asparagus chucked in, so I immediately think it's luxurious. I don't know, this feels like kind of special to do it for myself. Pepper. I've got some paprika in here as well. Because I can, bitch. Mm There we go. My meals always end up looking like a mess and it does look like a mess, but the question is, is it a delicious mess? Personally, I've never let myself down on this. It's always been nice. Oh my god, Elizabeth, you know me so well. <laughs> yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I'm getting my belly. I'll see you in a bit. Morning. What is going on, Mala? Good morning. Again, right, it's the morning after the night before. It is Thursday, Thursday. And I am going to see my mother this morning for our cafe. And it also means in order to do that, I need to have a shower. So, I'm very tired, hence why I'm making a coffee instead of a tea. Sacrilege. Okay, let's see how the bathtub turned out. I haven't, I haven't checked it at all. Right. Oh, that's all. Oh. Oh. Yes, that feels absolutely as dry that is. I'm just going over the crack to see if I can. Oh, 
Oh, that's the, that's, this is the crack here. I am hoping this little temporary measure then, what I might do, I've got to have a shower today, but what I might do is put an extra layer of resin on just to um, make sure. But hopefully I won't be getting any more leaks because this, although it hasn't got worse, hasn't gotten better. There's still water in there. Hmm. For those who asked about bilge pump versus automatic, let's make it clear. I do have an automatic bilge pump. It's in the, it's back at the stern. The problem I have is that the water doesn't seem to be flowing down to the stern. It seems to be gathering in the center. So I think there must be a, some sort of blockage with, of sediment where the water should flow. I do think that there is a flow of water come from somewhere. So if that, if it isn't the bathtub, I think it's the water pump, which I know is a little bit leaky and that'll be the next job. But until then, I'm, I'm going to try and wake up. Oh, I'm going to be very late. So I'm going to transform this now. Okay, can we do it, Liz? Can we do it? Can we do it? What I'd like to say is thank you once again to my amazing patrons. I love you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, your support really means so much, it means that I get to do all this, film, write, edit and illustrate because of you guys and that means a lot that I get to wake up and do this and um, yeah so just so you know that I'm really really grateful and if you'd like to join my Patreon, please do because it helps me pay my bills. Um, patrons get a bonus video once a week. We're trying to get it once a week, but you get a bonus video from me. We have uh, nighttime nitty gritty chats, it's called. And once a week you get enrolled into a competition to win a limited edition fine art print from myself. I really do have to concentrate on getting ready now because my mum will go mental. Love you lots and I'll see you soon. All the best. <laughs>